Okay, so today I wanted to take some of my older, unfinished, unloved, unworn projects that I have crocheted in the past and unwind them and return them to their cake form. I wanted to do this for a couple of different reasons, mainly because it's wasteful, it's wasteful of yarn just to crochet something up and to not use it because... Like this, for example, on the mannequin. I hate this. I think I made this like two years ago, two, three years ago. And even though I've been crocheting for a really long time, even this like two or three years ago, I can just see the difference in quality to what I make now and how much better things that I make now are. I don't really like the way that I sewed these panels together. I just don't like it. And I think I can do way better, and I think I can make a lot of useful things out of this yarn that is not this, you know, because I, I've never worn this once. It doesn't really fit. I forgot to put buttonholes in it. So there's just, there's lots of reasons to undo it. I've got actually this other blue yarn skirt that I'm also going to be undoing today. It's, it's a little big, which I think is the main reason that I haven't finished it. Um, also, I haven't finished it because I couldn't find more of these buttons. Also, this. I hate this. This and this and this kind of had this, kind of were like the same idea. Um, except for this one, I wanted to do puff sleeves. The sleeves look cute. But yeah, so the body on this one just it doesn't fit. The shoulders are shaped wrong. It, it's bad. I don't like it. I haven't worn it. It's awful. So I'm gonna undo it. That's what I. That's the plan today. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I've got my uh, yarn winder. Yeah, I'm gonna set the camera up and I'm just going to watch some YouTube while I unwind all of this yarn and we will see how much yarn I get. to get from that skirt and I wanted to weigh it on my scale just for fun just to see how many grams I got out of it 358 grams so that's a pretty decent amount not bad not bad I can do a lot of stuff with that I'm already starting to envision some stuff that I can do with it I'm thinking like a market bag or some granny squares make it into like a little granny square vest I think that would be really cute. I'm really happy that I decided to undo it because that's a really pretty yarn and it's cotton. I think I said earlier, I don't have that much cotton yarn. So to have this in my collection now to be used again. Next, I'm going to take apart this, which is gonna give me more uh, blue cotton yarn, but it's just, it's slightly different. Um, I'm pretty sure these were the same brand and color. I just got different dye lots, um, which is why I had to make two different projects because I actually don't remember why. Just look, look, look. Look at how awful, look at how awfully that is seamed together. It just, it looks so bad. So I'm excited to start undoing this. Let me get, oh, oh. I got a new pair of scissors. How cute are those? It's like a bird, a little crane. I needed a new pair of scissors because mine are dull and I saw this at Walmart for $5 and it was beautiful and I justified the purchase because my husband was paying and I really did need new scissors. Like the scissors that I have aren't, cut <laughs> aren't cutting it anymore, literally. <laughs> That was funny, okay. Let's get into taking this apart. What I'm 
going to be listening to slash watching while I'm working is Dylan is in trouble, his Fault in Our Stars movie commentary. I'm gonna start by taking this. Oh, I don't know. I don't know them. I don't know them. Okay, I'm gonna start by taking off this god awful ribbing. I think because it is it is awful. It is awful. Like, see, for this ribbing, I did not know how to attach the ribbing as you go, um, like I have recently, not recently, since learned how to do. So I just kind of made a sh long rectangle of, of ribbing and then kind of just winged the measurement. I just, I kind of just laid it up against the thing and I was like, mm, that's kind of, I hope long enough. And I just seamed it along the edge. <laughs> from it. This is 300 grams of the blue yarn plus 240 grams, 540 grams of yarn. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I am really disappointed because I have to start making dinner now, which means this good camera lighting is not going to be here when I'm done. So I might be done filming for the day, but I still want to unravel that white piece with the pink, pink sleeves. I will see you whenever I get around to unraveling that white thing. It's the next day again, and I think this is the last piece that I'm gonna be unraveling for this video. This is what I'm gonna do today. I really liked the idea of these ruffle sleeves. And I think I might try to do something like that again in the future. Also, the ruffles at the bottom I like that too. I want to incorporate that into some other design in the future because it didn't work out with this one. Once I'm done unraveling this, I'm gonna have so much white yarn. Like, I have so much white yarn. I've got white acrylic yarn in four weight. I've got white acrylic yarn in five weight. I've got white acrylic yarn in three weight and I've got white cotton yarn in four weight. I've also got white yarn that's like a bamboo cotton hybrid that's a three weight as well. Okay, I'm going to start by taking off the ruffles, I think. I got these two little pink balls from the project that I unraveled yesterday, and I think I'm just going to put this in my scrap yarn bag, um, and eventually, once I accrue enough scraps, I'll make a scrap project. Um, and I think I'm just going to have to add these little pieces of pink to the scrap pile as well because I don't think that once I unravel this and put it into a ball, it's going to be enough. A scrunchie? A scrunchie. That would be a cute idea because the thing about this pink yarn is that it's not the greatest quality of cotton yarn. It kind of acts like an acrylic in the way that it in the way that it wears over time and it just doesn't look as fluffy and it pills. I think I just got it for like two bucks a ball at Walmart. Set up my ball winder. I don't think I've said this because it doesn't really matter because you can get whatever ball winder you want. But this one is from Knit Picks. And so is my Swift, I'm pretty sure. My Swift is from Knit Picks as well. Um, that my Swift is not featured in this video, but I do have it and it's very useful. Oh lord, 
Look what happened. <laughs> what happened to the camera? Oh no. Oh, everything is falling apart. I look cute though. those three projects I'm really happy I'm glad that I finally have it done now for the final weigh-in to see how much of that white yarn I got well actually hold on I've got the pink yarn to do too so from that last project I got I got 100 grams of the pink yarn and 336 grams of the white yarn so 436 total grams from that last project and because I don't remember the numbers of the last two projects there's the grand total of grams I got from harvesting my yarn and because girl math anything that I make with that yarn is basically free because I wouldn't have otherwise had it if I hadn't unwound it so that's going to be it for today. That's all that I had planned for today's video. Let me know in the comments any ideas that you have for what I can make out of this yarn that I harvested. I already have some of my own ideas, but of course I always value other ideas. So I'm super excited to put this back onto my yarn shelf and just to have that back into my collection without having to buy any more yarn. It's all around good. satisfying.